when I came into recovery, I, I really didn't know what my problem was, to be honest. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't think I was an alcoholic or an addict. I mean, I knew, you know, crack smoking wasn't a social, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I knew something was wrong. And, but I didn't even know, like, I didn't know anything about alcoholism. I didn't know about PTSD. I just thought I was a loser, you know, like that, that I was 34 when I got sober and I, I just thought I was a loser. I thought, why can't I get this together? And I had a lot of people around me that also kind of thought I was a loser, you know, like, why can't you get it together? Why can't you just get a job? Why can't you start, stop sleeping with that? You know, why can't you stop drinking? Why don't you stop eating? Why don't you lose some weight? You know, maybe you'll be okay. All these outside things are going to make me okay. They never make me okay. They never ever made me okay. But I didn't know what I, what was wrong until I walked into a community of people who had gone before me. And they said, you might be an alcoholic. You might have an eating disorder. You might have some trauma that causes you to act the way that you do. You might have a problem, you know, people might've really hurt you or I don't know, just like, I, I don't know. So I had to get to a point where I had to work on all of it because, because disease like this, addiction, trauma, it works like a whack-a-mole, right? Like I'm going to stop drinking and I'm going to start eating. I'm going to stop eating and I'm going to start sleeping with everybody. I'm going to stop sleeping with everybody. I'm going to gamble my life away. I'm going to spend all my money. I'm going to, because the, my disease centers in my mind and it doesn't matter what I use. I'm always going to find something. I'm always going to find something outside of myself. And given the opportunity, if I'm left alone, I will always think that it's up to me to figure it out. Like this broken brain is supposed to figure out the right solution. Like that's what I love about SunCloud too. It's like, they're not just treating one thing. They're not just saying, hey, you're an alcoholic, go away. No, you're an alcoholic. Maybe you got these other issues. How does your life look here? What are you doing there? You know, like, what have you struggled with before? What are you also struggling with? And, you know, how many times do we come and say, yeah, I don't have any of those problems. I don't want to talk about anything else. I've just got this. I, I only drink if you could just get me to stop drinking. And then you put away the drinking and you feel like all this other stuff is coming up. Maybe it's memories. Maybe it's pain. Maybe it's, maybe it's other addictions, you know, like, you know, so SunCloud is like, no, we're looking at the whole of you. We want to look, we want to dig deep. We want to get, you know. We want to we want to do this work because otherwise it's going to be superficial. If you just work on one thing, that's how people relapse. That's a, and they never get better. You know, like I was ten years sober when I started really focusing on my eating disorder because my ten years sober people are all like happy, joyous, and free. And I'm wondering what's wrong with me? Why am I not okay? Why am I still hating myself? I thought this was the answer. I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking crap what's wrong? Like, and I had to go deeper. I had to do deeper work and I had to figure out, yeah, what is wrong? And, you know, we may never be cured, but I don't have to do this alone. And I don't have to do this in the dark. And I know that there's people who are going to tell me exactly what's going on and show me how to help. <laughs>